Hello, my guys. It's Shane Mika here, and welcome to Slay Super Mario Bros. We're on World Five, and um, yeah, it's all snowy again. It's pretty nice. Um, it's Mario. I don't really have anything else to say, to be honest. I explained everything in the first part. Oh, here's something to explain. Those stars give you invincibility for a certain amount of time. Oh, and those little black cannony things—they shoot out bullet bills. And you want to watch out for them because bullet bills. If you hit, get hit from a direct hit from a, yeah, if you get hit from a direct hit, um, if you get hit from, um, the front of them, you know, basically, you will die, or, unless you have mushroom, then you will lose power thing, and, or you guys will learn, yes. And yeah, they'll constantly shoot stuff out, those springy things, if you hold down the jump button on them, you'll kind of, like, bounce high out, and, it's kind of hard to explain, but, you probably get what I mean just by looking at it. Fuck you, Hammer Bro. <laughs> hammer Bro's annoying. Eh, whoa. This is fucking annoying. It must really hurt for Mario as well when he gets hit by a fucking hammer. Like them throwing hammers everywhere, seriously. Oh, I, I dodge all of the Hammer Bros just to f run into a red Koopa. I just that's great. <laughs> you know? Eh, yeah. There you go. End of level already. Oh yeah, it's Mario time. <laughs> Alright, I should be on the third level now. Yep, third level of World 5. And it's a high treetop level with bullet bills. That's fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, do, I do like the backgrounds, you know. You've got a little waterfall this time around, you know. It, it's quite nice, the stuff that they changed for the All-Star support, you know. I mean, you know, the original version's fine and all, but if I can get a graphical update, then I'll go for the graphical update, you know? <laughs> Either way, it's still the original Mario Brothers, but, you know, I, I, I need to make it more appealing for me to look at when I'm playing it, and more appealing for the audience to look out for when you're watching me play it, because... You know, I, I don't, don't know if you'd want to see 8-bit Mario, I mean, you may have wanted to see 16-bit, make the colours more vibrant and bizarre and stuff. <laughs> that and I could, you know, show off the All-Stars, you know, menu. So yeah. <laughs> it also means I could play Lost Levels in a better port. <laughs> Even though I don't really want to play that game altogether, but, you know. I'll get to it. Thank you, Mario. But a princess is in another castle. Heh <laughs> Fuck you. I'm glad you were dizzy. So yeah, now we're on World 6 one. For me, the castle's getting bigger. Oh, that was fuck with all that. Okay, I can shoot down Lackey too. Yeah. Yeah! Uh, it's always fun. So then you just run through the level and you have like no threats at all. Oh, I think there might be a piranha plant. Yep, right there. But that's about it. If you get hit by that piranha plant without a lucky two, then you kind of suck. <laughs> uh, yeah. I wouldn't bother stopping to get these blocks. Blocks is yeah. Um, blocks if um you have no power ups. If you have a power up, because you know it's just a waste of time and you kind of want to quickly go to the end before Lack Lacky 2 comes back. So yeah. Or is it Latiku? I think it's Lacky 2. <laughs> oh, now the castle's are small again. <laughs> yeah, these ones got loads of pipes. You may see me every now and then, like, try and press the duck button down a pipe. That's, um, just because, um, you can actually go down the pipes by doing that. I don't actually go down any pipes, but I kind of just do that press the down button and move on. At least it might be this run, or it might be the Star World, I'm not too sure. I think I might do it. I might do it here, actually. Oh, yeah, oh, I can just keep running back and forth, you know, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> In real reality, though, Mario's just waving his junk on top of a piranha plant. <laughs> well, that's nice, isn't it? It's me, Mario, stuck on my pizza. I'm stuck on my spaghetti. And it's goalpost, yes. Goalpost, yes. We're playing Sonic the Hedgehog, guys. We just finished Green Hill Zone Act 2, and now we're going on to Labyrinth Zone. Wait, Labyrinth. Yes, Labyrinth Zone. Huh. I, I think we
we've already played Labyrinth Zone in this game. Oh, the underwater levels, anyway. <laughs> actually, I should test my mic. Actually, are you picking stuff? Yes, the mic is picking stuff up. It says a green bar and it's going bigger. Therefore, it means I'm talking, and you should be able to hear me. Hope so. Yeah. This level is very difficult. I don't like this level. How do I survive that? <laughs> Boy. Yeah. I'm kind of used to um, some of the newer Mario games though, where if you hold down the jump button, or I mainly just used to Sonic, where you just hold down the jump button, and once you bounce on an enemy, you go higher. But in this game, that doesn't happen. You kind of just fall and rock. Especially when you get a mushroom, or well, mainly a mushroom, really. If you get a mushroom in midair, you'll fall like a rock, and it's annoying. Oh, now we're on world 6-4. 64! <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just another castle. Did you expect me to go, oh my god, it's a completely new thing, they just threw it out the window, I could totally see Bowser in a bikini. You know, no, th th this game doesn't throw any curveballs at you. Well, besides the fact that the first world you get, um... Sorry, but our princess is in another castle. That's like the only curveball. After that, you kind of expect it. Well, after World 2, anyway, you kind of expect it. You just don't know when you're actually going to find Peach. The first time you play, anyway. But our princess is in another castle. Yeah, I can't see where the fuck I'm going, because this bloody mushroom is too big and it's going over my eyes. Um, okay, um... Yeah, we're in World 7. <laughs> Got a lot more bullet bills this time around, so it's gonna be fun. Totally kamikaze in through this level. I, it's kind of scaring me watching myself play this now. Okay, good, good, good. So. <laughs> See, it, it, I, I don't really like going too fast in Mario, but, you know, I kind of wanted to try my best to go fast for the playthrough, even though I kind of suck at Mario. But, um, or Mario. Mario. Uh, I sometimes call him Mario. I don't know why. But, yeah. Same difference. Uh, um, yeah, I, I, I like Sonic mainly because he, he has a little more defense. He holds rings, you can pick the rings up if you get hit. He has a shield. He also can roll and jump, and when he jumps, he's completely invincible. When he rolls, he's completely invincible. So, you know, I, I feel it's a lot more safer playing. Oh, look, Labyrinth Zone! So, yeah, I feel more safer playing Sonic. Mario is kind of like, oh, Kamikaze, oh my god, it's fucking hitting me. Oh, look, don't kill me. You know? I think these are called Octos. I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. Uh, I know the fish is called Bloopers. I'm gonna actually look this up right now. The um, the the music for um, the underwater levels though are actually pretty, pr pretty nice. You know? I, I quite like it. I, I, I want to say it's better, my favorite music in the game, to be honest. But at the same time, the original theme is very catchy, you know. So. I believe they're called Octo. There are things loading up now. Um. Oh, Blooper. Blooper. That's it. So, I think I've got the name of the fish wrong. <laughs> yeah, I kind of should have looked this up, shouldn't I, beforehand. But, yeah. I guess we just finished the level right now. Which is pretty handy dandy. Um, I just wrote Mario Super Mario. Yeah, that, that works. Cheap cheap. Yes, that's what they're called, cheap cheeps. Ha! Ah. <laughs> you can see I focus more on Sonic, because I actually remember like the bad bad nicks in Sonic. I don't remember most of the enemies in Mario. You know, I, d I didn't play Mario until Luigi's Mansion, to be perfectly honest. I don't know, that might sound painful for some of you, but... I, I, I didn't know who Mario was. I, I knew about Pokemon, I knew about Zelda, but I didn't know about Mario. I just kind of... I don't know, I didn't even know who the fuck he was. My friend told me about him, and I was just like, what the hell's a Mario? And he was just like, you know, because basically, um, we had, um, uh, we had to do art, and we had, um, newspaper that we had to put on the table, because you usually do that for art in school, because you don't want to get paint on the table and stuff. And, um, basically, this is the order, by the way, for me. <laughs> um, uh, basically, we, there was a question on the newspaper, and it said about um, Luigi's Mansion and a GameCube. And um, my friend said that I should go and enter the competition to try and win it, because he said GameCubes are awesome, and he wanted me to play Zelda, because 
I knew about Zelda, he always told me about it, but he wanted me to play it, and, um, uh, basically, I didn't know the answer to the question, it said, who was Mario's brother, and he kind of was really shocked, just like, what, what? You don't know who Mario's brother is, but, you know, kind of told me, and I kind of submitted for the competition, and, um, I thought I won the GameCube, because, like, like, three weeks later, I did get a GameCube, but about two, maybe three years ago, I actually found out that my mum actually bought the GameCube, she didn't enter me in the competition. <laughs> she, was, she was just like, um, yeah, you totally won that competition, here, here you go. I don't mind, because, you know, I still got the GameCube, but, <laughs> I just found it very funny that I didn't actually notice for, like, all those years. Especially because of the fact that it said clearly on the competition, comes with Luigi's Mansion, and the one I got came with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Mario Kart. <laughs> So I was very stupid when I was younger, but um, yeah. But, um, soon after that, I did actually buy Mario, uh, Luigi's Mansion, and Sonic Adventure. And they're pretty awesome games. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Oh yeah, we're in World A. I forgot to say the line for um, Toad. I don't think he cares though. <laughs> Oh, and I can't say it anymore. Actually, I could because it's a Star Wars, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so I like I, I like doing Toad's voice. It may not sound as good because I'm ill, but when I was doing the Mario Galaxy 2 playthrough, I really liked doing um, Toad's voice. I also like doing Luigi's as well. I'm gonna try doing it now, but it's probably gonna come out awful. Hey, bro. Have we seen any stars around here? Huh? <laughs> that was so fun. I I really like doing those voices, and I'm glad that some of you actually like them. <laughs> I don't know how they come out now, but, you know, once I feel a bit better, then, you know, maybe I'll be able to imitate them again, you know. This isn't the last Mario game I'm going to play. After this, I'm going to do both of the number two Mario games, and then I'll do number three, then World, then 64, then Sunshine, my favourite game of the Mario series, then, um, uh, well, actually, before Sunshine, I'll do Luigi's Mansion, and then, um, Galaxy, uh, maybe the new Super Mario Bros. games, probably the Wii one. But that's about it. I don't have a Wii U, so I can't really do that one. And I'm not gonna bother with the DS ones, because, yeah. If I could, if I find out how to record 3DS games, though, I might do 3D Land, because that's, that, that's quite a fun Mario game, in my opinion. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but. Yeah, this world is quite annoying. If you keep getting that extra life at the beginning, though, you should be fine in terms of lives, because, you know, you can just keep racking them up. You know, just. You collect a few coins every now and then. You get a, a second extra life, but for the most part, you should stay on this level, you know, because that extra life should keep bringing you back. Now, this level is probably the worst level in the game. I hate this level. It's so hard. I do like the way they change the background, though. How it's actually they've got a big castle there. You know, you kind of feel like you're in a massive fortress. Although I do wish they kind of changed the music, you know. I mean, yeah, it's for the NES. So I kind of understand maybe the, the memory size, but maybe for the SNES version they could have changed it a bit, you know. Had a more menacing theme here instead of happy, happy, go, go, we are throwing hammers at you. Yay, yay, yay. I'm annihilating a bunch of you. You know, this is quite fun, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It, it just feels a little too go happy for the what's happening on screen. So when we think about it, Mario's technically incinerating a bunch of turtles. And we've got the happiest music in the world playing. You know. It's like me going that 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 would be the equivalent of me going into a zoo with a flamethrower while playing um the happy happy joy joy song. It just wouldn't work. Mainly because I'd probably get kicked out before I even got to the animals, but <laughs> Yeah. And before you ask, no, I won't do that, no. Hell no. To leave the animals alone. Don't know why? Cause I like turtles. <laughs> no, well, I I don't like Mario anymore because he kills turtles. And turtles like the greatest animal in the world. Except they're not because penguins. <laughs> but yeah. And um, there's a certain order you need to go down these pipes. The first pipe that I went through is that one you're supposed to go to. Then you're supposed to go to this pipe. Well, okay, you're not supposed to avoid it. But um, then you're supposed to go through this pipe. Then there'll be another pipe coming up. I think it's just after a lava pit. And after that, you'll be in an underwater section. Um, yeah, I believe it's this pipe right here you need to go down. Meow, meow, meow. And now we're in an underwater section. Then basically, we just need to keep going right for the rest of the level. Um, 
we'll eventually go to another pipe, which will then make it into the boss. But yeah, can we believe we're actually, like, right at the end of the game already? It doesn't feel like it, does it? <laughs> but yeah, this game's quite short. I'll play the Star World as well, though, just to make it a little longer. And in 3, 2, 1, you'll see Cheap Hammer Bro placement. I fucking hate this guy. Well, guy just has to die. I do quite like the music that plays there. But it's kind of sad that it's not that long. I'll put a link to it in the description, an extended version. Or at least a version that's a little bit longer, so you know, listen to that. And that'll be fine. Thank you, Mario. The kingdom is saved. Now try a more difficult quest. Wait, really? Fuck you! No, no, no! I went to a sec. Um, I'm not continuing that line. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, in the next part, we're going to um, be playing the Star Wars. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.